Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're back again with some more regular playthrough. Now, of course, as you know, we're done with the main storyline, but what we're actually doing is we're finishing up some of the outer quests to take care of everything that we've got here. So we see this was all full. We had a full page here, full page here. We actually slipped onto a third page, but we're not quite done with expanding the base. So we're going to go back to this and see if we can't finish these out. So let's get back to the base building. We're going to go back to our overseer. It's directing. We're going to pick up right where we left off. No holds bar, no delays. Toil Gek, hey. Hey, Toil Gek. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Okay. So, never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. The Overseer requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Korvac scientist should be able to provide the necessary parts, which we've already gotten from the scientist. I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the Gek. Nonetheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. Okie dokie. So we need, come on, there it is, acquire a circuit board. So let's see, can we make it? Yes, we can. What do we need? We need, hello, we need a heat capacitor and polyfiber. Interesting. Okay, what do we need to make a heat capacitor? We need selenium and frost crystals, which we do have. Okay, let's let's take a look. This looks like it's going to be ex more expensive than I remember. Let's jump over here. Uh, let's see, we got some frost crystals. And look, PCM. Yay. Okay. But you know what? We made some plants, didn't we? So let's take a look in here real quick and go harvest all those plants, shall we? Let's get it all. Not you. All right. Now we get about 50 apiece. That's not bad. It's at least a little something. And there we go. All right. So we got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, do we have enough to create a circuit board? So we need heat capacitor and polyfiber. So we do have enough to create the heat capacitor. Let's get one of those. We need polyfiber. Do we have the recipe? Yep, there it is. We need 200 star bulbs. And guess what? We're on a planet that we can get these from. So let's go get them real quick here. Take a quick peek around and look for them. Uh, impulse. Oop. Organic structure. Star Bramble. There you go. It's about 600 blocks away. I don't think we've gotten any of our... Do, do we know how to make one of those yet? The Roamer. Hmm. But we had one. We don't have the Roamer Geo Bay here. That's very interesting. Well, let's do Tom and Jerry it. I would go ahead and use my ship, but... Shouldn't take us long to get there. Hey, that's good stuff. Always want to get that stuff when I can. Especially, even though it's not early game anymore and I'm not trying to run for my life, you know, that kind of thing. It's still a good idea to grab stuff as you can. And there the star brambles are up on that ridge. Let's just get ourselves up. Well, this really is a pretty place, you know that? Very nice. Made it. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Doesn't look like it's a big outcropping of it over here, but it might be enough. Okay, how much do we have? Is that enough? To make polyfiber. No, how much do we need? We need 60 more, give or take 56. False beans keep getting in the way. Okay, Star Bramble. K 
Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that one because that is at least in a general direction of where our place is located. We really don't have a lot of missions, so I'm going to keep you guys on the cuff. You know what? Why don't I do that? I didn't even think of it. Of course. Yep, that, not quite. Hold on. All right, where is it? It's over there. Let's turn you around. So is it faster? Now we're moving. Get into running speed, and this guy just takes off. Look how fast we got here. Don't forget to hit your jets on the way down. Because that could hurt. Look how fast we got here. That's how we're getting home. We're going to go ahead and gather all of it because we can always use extra. Always a good move. If you're here, you might as well get it all. Alright. Okay, where'd you go? I hear you. Where are you? Adam, get on. Okay, where's my base? Over there. Let's see how fast we get there. Ready? Get yourself one of these. I swear to you, you will not regret having one of these Beetle Boys. Look how fast we got here. Freaking awesome. I love these guys. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Alright, let's make my polyfiber. Should have enough components. There it is. So that should get us a circuit board. Congratulations. I'll let him flitter around for a little while. Uh, is that him? That's him. Did I miss something? Oh, there you go. Okay, just waiting for that little thing to pop up over his head. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. As I approached the overseer, I, am, I was almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Tolgek Hay asks me for the circuit boards. Give the circuits. The Overseer is strange, but no more so than any other beings I have encountered. Indeed, they have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward. The Galactic Trade Terminal. We need three microprocessors. Okay. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with Tolgek Hay. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a Gravitino ball to perfect my device. The Overseer predicted I would be pleased, and once again, they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. Gravitino ball is required to finish their promised starship technology. The farmer may be able to help acquire one. Accept. You will not regret it, friend. It is good we work so well together. Okay, now I can give that to him right away, but to tell you what, while we're here... I have a bare wall right there. Let's go ahead and build our trade terminal, which I think is here. Is it here? Here. There it is. The trade terminal. We need three microprocessors. Let's do that real quick. So to get microprocessors, you need to build three carbon nanotubes, one for each. And then... There it is, microprocessor. Now you can make one, two, and three. And you do need chromatic metal to make it, so be careful with that. Trade terminal. And there you go. And now, this is like any other trade terminal that you find. It doesn't have as much of everything. You see the amounts are a little lower. But it is handy to have one on your base. Wow, I get 143 magnetic seals. Good grief. Well... And uranium and dioxide, how convenient. And pyrite. Oh, I love that trade terminal. Anyway, we have our Gravitino ball. As you know, we harvested it before, so let's go ahead and talk to him again. Did you enjoy your adventure, friend? Your expedition to find our orb? I have waited for you faithfully. There's something about the way the toil way Toilgek Hay speaks that, for all their kind words, suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. They would not have come to work here if we were enemies. 
Of course not. We are friends. The Overseer asks for the Gravitino Ball so they can finish the Starship technology design. Give Gravitino Ball. As ever, I am so grateful for your assistance, friend. Okay, then. And he's giving me a conflict scanner. Look at that. Excellent. Have you ever wondered what happens after death, between expiration and rebirth? Meditate upon annihilation. Harvest Mordite from the dead is the only way to escape. Since the Overseer arrived, I've had a recurring dream, a nightmare that feels like a memory. Flesh merged with metal, a world of glass that blinks. A planet with green skies and an obsidian moon. A dream where I see my grave. As I snap back to reality, there is a moment before I can shake the image. Wound on the world lingering before my eyes. The Overseer asked me to harvest Mordite, a material found in the bodies of slain creatures. Except, the Overseer has served me well. Perhaps their task will free my mind from these lingering nightmares. Now the funny part is, is if you did all of these on the way, if you did these tasks on the way, we did it earlier on before we completed out the main quest line, you would have learned more about your own character a little bit more and learned that there was other things going on in the universe. So you see how this ties in with the storyline. All right, so we got to gather Mordite. We'll get that in a minute. We have to... Well, let me check the... Whoa, what happened? Seriously? That happens on occasion. I don't know why, but it's really not pulling that much power. Let's go ahead and put some uh, fuel in the biofuel furnace for now. Okay, looks like we need more power than that in order to get things back up and running. So, you know what? Give me a moment here. Uh, I need a metal plate. Let's put you over here. We do need, eventually. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, folks. That just uh, popped in there. Let's see. That should be enough juice to get everything going. Now, we should have more than enough power over here. We're only using 80, and this thing should be more than enough to store. But what I think what happens is that um, when you're gone for an extended period, it tends to cause problems. So I don't know what it is. Uh, it just drains itself real fast. Let me just check the storage again real quick. I have a walker brain, so I only need one. Uh, we got Fecium, but they need Mordite. That's what they need. So while we're here, let's put some of these things back. Uh, where are we here? Uh, cactus. That, that, that. We're going to keep the Mordite. We'll put the Crystal Flesh in there. That, that. I don't need the meaty chunks. Now the Feline Liver. And the Fecium will stick in there for now, too. Okay, that'll be enough for now. A lot of stuff in my inventory. Okay, so now we should be able to build on our starship a conflict scanner. Which, do we have one? We have an economy. We do not have a conflict scanner. Let's go ahead and do that. And now we can make that. Task complete. Now, these are pulling juice right now. See, they pull 24 in the morning. In the middle of the day, they pull 50. And this thing should be charging fast. See? So... Shouldn't have run out that quickly. I may have to make another battery. We'll see. Moving on. Um, oh, we need... Mordite, correct? That was what he was looking for? Okay. Really hate to do this. I don't like to... I'm going to find another means of getting Mordite because I don't like to harm creatures. So you guess what? You folks are about to learn a little glitch building here. Not glitch. Glitch reproducing here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get three more of those. Why? What am I doing? I'm going to get the carbon out of it. Maybe they finally take care of that issue. Alright. So, put down your portable refiner. Pay close attention to this. This is important. We're at the 14 minute mark. Put your first portable refiner down. Go into here. Place any object in there that you wish. Like I said, I'm really tired of killing creatures, and we need more die. Put that in there. Do not do anything else, except you now have three more 
the ability to create three more of these, as it says. I can build four, it says. So I can build up to five total. There's one there and four more. Build them right in the same spot that the other refiner is in, one at a time. And then pick them up. See what happened to the Mordite? We just quintupled the amount of Mordite that we have. Now we have a bunch of refiners. So we're going to go ahead and put the refiner back over here. And I'm going to stick the other refiners. That's not what I want to do. Stick the other refiners in my starship. All right, so now we have a bunch of Mordite, and we have enough to get by. So I hope you guys didn't mind that, but I'm getting tired of killing animals. I really don't like to do that unless I really have to. So I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen the world as you see it. I do not entirely understand what I've done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready for, to reward me for my actions. Give the Mordite. Here. Take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. That's just creepy as eh, all crap, man. So we got the Exocraft Terminal. So this is a whole series that we can go into. We need chromatic metal dihydrogen. We do have them for now. We also get the ability to build a geology cannon, which I'm not going to do at this time. It says to install one. I'm going to check and see if that is a alternative. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. We don't really need that. The geology cannon, for those of you who don't know, is a way of collecting elements from the ground. It shoots a huge ball of plasma at the ground. It eliminates whatever you shot it at. So if you shoot it at a tree, boom, the tree's gone. And in a small area around it, if there's a bunch of bushes sitting around the tree, it takes them out too, and all those resources get pulled in immediately. Now that sounds wonderful, until the day that you shoot a tree that's right next to you and you realize you just killed yourself because the area of effect killed you as well. So, while cool, I'm just going to stick with my mining laser. It's up to you. You want to play with it, feel free to install it. I'm not going to do it. So, next thing I need to do is I need to get the Exocraft unit up and running. Now, I was going to put it there, but I can't. So, let's run down here. Exocraft terminal. We're going to go ahead and install it. Now, again, I was going to install it right here. I can install it right here. Let's go ahead and put it right here. I know it's kind of a little bit squished in, but... There we go. There we go. And now we've got a place to put our Exocraft guy. It's a little squished in here because I really wanted it right here in the corner. That's okay. The guy will stand right here and we'll be able to get that. So we're going to go get our Exocraft dude and head up to the... Uh... Hey, buddy. I think I really need to put you... Oh, he's brokenhearted. Why is that? Let's talk to you. Oh, you just need more attention. Okay, have it a little bit of food, too, while we're at it. All right, buddy. Now, I can induce an egg, but I'm not going to. But I'm going to go ahead and sit you out for now. Bye, buddy. Okay. Bye, pack leader. <laughs> it's cute. All right, so we're going to head up to the space station. I think it's our space station. We'll find out in a moment. Yep, it looks like he's at our space station. You can see by the emblem on the screen. And we'll get an Exocraft Technician. Now, the good thing about the Exocraft Technician, he's going to give you all of the Exocrafts, one at a time. And you can build them, so you won't have to learn those, uh, those technologies. So that'll be good. So as of the recording of this video, I want to just let you all know how much I appreciate everything. Um, we are getting more and more s subscribers every time I turn around. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, we're up to 204 right now. As of three weeks ago, I didn't have more than about 50. So really appreciate it. I guess you guys are kind of liking some of the content going on here. And thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. There we go. Oh, yeah, great. Everybody just pop up in front of the entrance. Brilliant. You can get your carcass out of that station. Good grief. All right, heading on in.
Man, uh, hopefully the volume is okay. Um, I've been adjusting the volume and playing with it a little bit. I think my voice is coming through pretty well. Um, got it at about negative 10 at the moment, and my uh, audio from the game is at around negative 18 to 19 right in there. So hopefully this is pretty good. I know it gets a little loud with the noises at the time, but uh, where'd he go? Oh, he's in there. Okay. But hopefully it makes it a more immersive experience. Yeah, baby. Yeah, immersive. And it looks like that's our guy, Corporal Aki. Aki? I, I demand a place on your throne world, interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and the Vankeen mech priest to administer its mass. Wow. Quite the resume there, buddy. Pray only that you have an exocraft terminal sufficient for my skills. Refusal? Refusal will result in my inevitable extermination. Be quick. Oh. The technician seeks work, claiming they will be able to build and upgrade exocraft for my travels. Or they'll die. Well, I don't know. Hire you or die is basically what is going to happen here. Not me. It says that you'll expire. So if I don't hire you, they're going to kill you. Um, you know, I feel bad for you. I'm going to go ahead and hire you. You are weak and unworthy of my skills, but I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world. I will... I will become an interloper. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'm out of here. That's okay. You know I'll win him over. So, do we fly to the station? Uh, fly to our base, I'm sorry. We're at the station. Do we fly to the base, or... Oh, did I just get almost landed on or something? No? Okay. Alright. Heading back. My bases. We're going to go to the current system, right? And on our Mary. Shouldn't take long to get there. It actually, the noises in the background act like you're already there. There we go. Let's step up off, off the platform here. <clears throat> and meet him at his terminal. Um... Ah, well, that's new. <laughs> I haven't had that happen to me before. And I'm losing my voice. I'm very sorry. Hang on just a second here, folks. I'm going to mute for a second and I'll read this over. I mean, I could have paused, but, you know, whatever. Corporal Key is calm since I last saw them, though I still feel a sense of dread within their eyes of the paranoia that has sustained them across the stars. Why am I reading this text like this? I don't know. Read them. Interloper, I will do as I promised. Build a geobay from this schematic, and my exocraft shall be yours, unworthy though you may be. Now excuse me, I must ensure this location is defensible, should my people try to find me. A technician asked me to construct a Romer Geobay, from which I will be able to access their exocraft. Except, Gra, of course, this bargain greatly favors you, interloper. My exocraft has seen much glory. Okay, then. So we need five metal plates, two ion battery batteries, and some paraffinium. I got the paraffinium. Got to make the rest. Let's go. So where should we build them? I think we should build them right around here. Um, oh. Nope, I'm in the right place. Okay. Here we go. So we need to build the roamer. I need five plates, two ion batteries. <clears throat> eh, whatever. Really? Really? I'm out of ferrite dust? Unbelievable. Over to the trade terminal. <clears throat> I need some cobalt, too. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. i got plenty of money, so... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, 
Okay, that's all right. I'll grab it anyway. But while I'm here, okay, that works. And ion batteries. Did you see ion batteries in there? I didn't see any. No, I'm pretty sure I got to make those. Okay, good. Over to here. There you go. All right, got the ion batteries. Let's go ahead and make this sucker. Uh, you. Cool. This is probably one of my fav favorite rides. I like this. I like driving a quad. Let's go back to the technician and see what other insults he can give me. Jerk. Open a key. What do you want? Interloper, have you constructed the Romer Geobay? Gra. Tell me once you have. We must scan this world. We must find its signals, its secrets. Confirm. Good. Here is a blueprint for an Exocraft radar. This augmentation will allow you to discover buildings and signals from afar. But, Interloper, know that it disgusts me that you lack so much knowledge. Well, I'm glad I don't talk to my employees that way. It disgusts me that you don't know enough about this product. I have to remember that. I'm going to use that on somebody at work, I swear. Do not delay, Interloper. You have the means. Now set about the construction of the signal booster. Well, that's strange. I just got a call from my HR department. I wonder what that's about. They must have felt the disturbance in the force. I do not know how I feel about this warrior. I do know whether I have made a mistake. Let's change this up a little bit. But there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honored their word. I will honor mine. The Viking asks me to install the signal booster in my new Exocraft. Except. Okie dokie. Off to the Exocraft. Okay. So, oh, we haven't actually gotten in the Exocraft yet for the first time. So now we have an Exocraft. And you'll notice when we go to our... You see, we have an extra area up here now, and it says Exocraft. Now, this Exocraft has three supercharged slots in it. They're not next to each other, but it is what it is. We like to take these and put them into supercharged slots. Now, I don't know what that's going to do for it, but we'll find out, right? Let's put the radar on here. Uh, we need a microprocessor. And here, since they have cargo, we can make one. So we can make a carbon nanotube, microprocessor, and now we can make our radar. And there you go. Should we put it over here? I'm going to put it over here just to see what happens. I am curious. Okay, we installed it. What's our next step? Hey, that was a little uh, solar ship flying over. Cool. Come on. Let's get past it. Yes, we got that. We know. We got gotcha. you. We constructed the Exocraft radar. Let's see. Turn to the technician. Trust me, we'll take it for a ride. Hey there, corporate corporal attitude. Once we have the Exocraft radar, pardon me. Once we have the Exocraft radar, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? Corporal attitude waits. I'm calling him that from now on, expecting me to announce my success in the construction of the Exocraft radar. Hand it in. Your timing is fortuitous, traveler. Take these blueprints. Yes, sir. I get a mounted cannon. Oh, yeah. In your absence, I have made a grave discovery. There are sentinel depots on this world. Bra. Um, yeah, I know. They are everywhere, even in this last refuge. Track one down, traveler. Destroy the depot and bring me its precious contents for use in my work. And I'm gesturing right now. I got my right hand in the air, making a fist, and I'm shaking it. Bring me its precious. Okay, great. Whatever. Let's move on. Corporal attitude requires me to use my Exocraft radar to locate a depot and steal the material from within. They will use their substance to create an an Exocraft boosters. Except, hurry, interloper. Do not permit the Sentinels to pollute your world. Okay, you got it, buddy. So it says to gather pugnium and copper. We know we have both. Um, okay, let's make it. So there it is. 
Now you notice that there's other things we can build here. We have the ability to make some suspension. So forward grip and angular grip, it gives us extra traction. So we're going to build it. Go ahead and do it, buddy. We have grip boost suspension, which gives us forward grip and angular grip. Opposite, but just as good. Requires some tritium. And then last but not least, we get the slide suspension, forward grip, angular grip. And there we go. I don't know if these fit with anything. They seem to attach to each other, so... <clears throat> Pardon me, I'll go ahead and put it there. Um, let's leave it there for now. So where are we going? Where are we going? We're going somewhere, right? Oh, we mounted the cannon. Oh, okay. We're still not going anywhere yet. I promise we're going to leave. Would you go somewhere else? Grief. Have you obtained the materials I seek, interloper? Divine elements forged from the sentinels themselves? They will shield us from their sight. Now, I didn't actually go to one of these locations, but I happen to have 100 gold. Let's go ahead and hand it in and get it moving along, shall we? Good. I shall use it to forge Exocraft boosters for future expeditions. Thank you very much. None of us lives life alone, traveler. All of us form attachments, and I must shed the last vestiges of mine. I left my consort and spawn behind in my homeworld. My crimes were my own, but they... I must know what has happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the Exocraft boosters to reach it before my brethren inevitably delete it. In the process, we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Gra, we will kill two Gek with one blast. Okay, then. Corporal Attitude requires me to use my Exocraft boosters to reach a terminal quickly enough to retrieve an encrypted transmission. They believe we may also acquire Exocraft Mining Laser Blueprint from the Viking Network, except... Be vigilant, be quick. I require this message. I must know what happened to those I left behind. We have to be quick on this one. Okay, it doesn't look like we have anything to install. Because you'll notice... You know, he gives us a booster module. Put that here. And engine module will go here. Do we have anything else? No. Okay. But you notice now this should be... That way. That's the cool part about this. It's like driving a 4x4. Four four. I mean, it really is. Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah, I almost made it. A little extra boost in there, I probably would have made it. But you see, we've also, we're also going to have a timer on this. Even though you don't see it. Oh, see, it, it actually says it when we look at it. That's how long it's going to be before we arrive there. And this thing will plow through anything in your path. You can make a straight path there and just blow everything apart. Now you can also jump. If you hit your space bar, you can jump with it and hit the boost at the same time. Watch. Ha ha ha! We cleared it. <laughs> oh, I love these things. See? Boink. Boink. There it is. Excellent. That was pretty cool. I have to admit, I love these things. By the way. That's always the coolest part about these things. Alright, let's get in here and check out his message. Hi, how are you? Nothing to see here. Just gonna spin some chairs around real quick. Oh, I've already been in here, obviously. 
That's cool. Loading transmission. Decrypting subspace frequency. Error. Interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you, no system to which you must might flee unscathed. Hide then in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like mewling geck as we cut them down, that we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Where shall you ever find peace knowing these things? And transmission. The message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this... I must return and decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pull the Exocraft Mining Laser Blueprint from the network. And there it is. I need a lot more chromatic metal. And some more magnetized ferrite. So we'll put that in a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of creepy, man. Think about it. I mean, these... These guys are ruthless. I don't know what this guy, dude did and why they don't like him so much, but they took out his family. <clears throat> that's pretty bad. Oh, that's mean. Now, watch those caves, man. You don't want to fall into one of those caves with this, buddy. What a pain in the butt to get out of there. The mining laser, you're usually okay. You can sometimes blast your way through the terrain, but... Gosh, no. You don't want to do that. I'll go around. Alright. Another jump. That was weird. Scott hesitated there. I don't know what happened. That was weird. Alright. We're almost back. Now, maybe on the next trip, I'll go ahead and eliminate some of this video from the... Or some of this action from the video itself. Whoa, that was a big hole. Should be right over this rise. There it is. I'll show you a little something something about this. You don't have to park it. Okay. You can park it anywhere you like. All you gotta do is walk up to these screens here. That's a modification screen and this is the callback screen. See? There you go. So if you're wondering what that message is in the background there, uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, it just means another person subscribed, and I really appreciate that. Thank you again, guys. All right. My preparations... Captain Cor Corporal Attitude again, of course. My preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of my old life, my old, my, of my old attachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But, even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveler. Have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it, was, it has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. So choice here. Do we lie to them and say that you have? Say that you have or claim that we have not. So you know I always tout about kindness as well as always being truthful. Sometimes the truth, as harmful as it can be, is more important and in a essence uh, it's a small amount of kindness as well. So we have. That's what I'm going to choose here. The technician tells me they are going to clean their mind to prepare for their holy task. Before they remove all other thoughts, they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, Traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn. Please, I have waited so long. The technician was expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, but instead... Instead, I discovered that their family has been killed, murdered by other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expectant, nervous, I do not know whether to tell the truth. Gonna tell the truth, folks. Never gonna lie. I, I, 
Leave me, traveler. We Viking prepare for death our whole lives, but this... Who I am now will die with them, lost in the obliteration of time and memory. Thank you, friend, for what you have done. When we next speak, I will be reborn. Whoa. Call me friend. You're back to being called Corporal Aki, my friend. Okay. So let's take a look. We've got to install the mining laser. We need magnetized ferrite. We need to get some more, uh, refine some more chromatic metal. Um, there wasn't any in the terminal, but let's use our medium refiner here. Oh, pure ferrite. How nice. Uh, how are we doing on magnetized? It must be in the ship. That's what I'm guessing here. What do we have as far as metals? Because what are you doing in there? Selenium? Do we have any copper? Got uranium? It's a little bit chromatic. Uranium, pyrite, tritium, cadmium. Oh, you know what? Those could be used. Whoa, we got a lot of copper. But you know what? Indium. Yeah, so I thought it's a 2 to 1 ratio. 2 to 4 ratios, it says. It's 1 to 2 ratio, if you will. There we go. That's enough. So we need to install our mining laser. We should have enough to do that now. Okay, so that's installed. Let's go here. Alright, so we're done installing that. We've got everything we need. Let's move on. Just checking the time real quick. Yeah, pick up the rest of the whoop, the wrong button. Pick up the rest of the refiner. Nice. Yeah, that Indian man gives you a good amount. Um, I'm stuck here. How did I do that? Put your fingers back in the home keys, buddy. Okay, there we go. Corporal key. I am I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now. Focus on what I must do. Ra, you will require a mining beam in the days to come. Construct one and I will craft you a nomad exocraft befitting an alkalite of Nal. Their face is different beneath the eyes, beneath the soul. They have changed irrevocably. Where once they would insult me with meaningless threats, now they speak only of a singular purpose. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they only care about their cult, about their supposed purpose. The technician asked me to build an exocraft mining laser, promising to craft me the blueprint for an exocraft the nomad agree the world will change it must it has to traveler or else all of this everything we have done it will have been for nothing at all Oof. okay buddy uh we already did that didn't we okay give it a couple moments to catch up come on and pink. There we go. Have you built the mining laser? I hope you enjoy working with Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat. Even if that combat is against the earth. Confirm that it is built. Nomad Geobay. We need five more metal plates and two more ion batteries. Excellent work. Your exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest that I can create such marvels. Gra! The universe is a mystery traveler. Lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. The technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense mineral that must be refined. My life will be made easier with the Exocraft mining laser, able to harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. The technician will use this craft and upgrade for my Exocraft radar. Accept. They say the Viking first rose to the stars and ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what we will accomplish? Okay. How much magnetized ferrite do I need, buddy? Like I said, it must be on my ship, I'm guessing. Let's see. And yeah, we got some. Okay, we got it. Now what? Wrong button. Uh, okay. I guess we're supposed to go back to him. Give it a moment. Pink. Uh, have you brought the magnetized ferrite traveler? The signals are out there. I know they are. All you need is a signal booster capable of detecting them. Give them ferrite. 
I give the technician the ferrite they request as they work with it. I examine their station. It is barren now, lacking the flaws, the personality of their previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before for all this newfound efficiency and focus. The flaw of their individuality, forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. Radar amplifier. Excellent. I need two more ion batteries and two more microprocessors. Take this signal booster. Upgrade it. When it is constructed, I have something else for you. Compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your exocraft telemet telemetry. Pardon me. You see, it seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic and exocraft weapon upgrades. Grah. Forgive the Viking that I was, Alkalite. It is not polite to withhold firepower. The technician requires me to craft an upgrade to my signal booster. Promise me upgrades to my weapon systems. Accept the request. Your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go, traveler. Build your upgrades. I will continue my great work. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and pick up some stuff from the store. Um, like metal plates and stuff like that. Get out of the way here, buddy. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Metal plates. Let's get, I don't know, let's get about ten of those. Uh, let's get about six of those. I don't think we need anything else for now. Far away. Alright, I'm going to put you over here. Oh, we need the two ion batteries. Let's build them down here. Got it. Okay. There we go. What else can we build over here? Oh, no, we don't have anything else, do we? No. Okay. And I think we're just about completing this out. We'll see what happens here. Looks like we've got about 10 minutes left of this video, so... Since we met, I have thought long and hard about your people in Tilopa. They are so... They are... Let's try that again. There are many so-called travelers scattered, scattered across our lore. Herc said we were to aid your people when they made themselves known within our universe. I think I've accidentally hit them a little early. Were they right? Did Nal tell them this? Or was it something else? What if Herc lied about this, as Herc lied about so many other things? There were those among my cult who believed entities such as yourself who should be shot on sight. That you were enemies. I am glad that they were wrong. Ask why you must be aided. Why must the thirsty drink? Why must sleepers rest? It is the command of the universe, traveler. We do as we must. It's because he's programmed for it. All right. Return to the technician, it says, but I'm not getting the icon above his head. Let me go ahead and select it. There we go. Happens sometimes. You got to check it. Brah, the blueprints of your for your weapon upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you provided... Pardon me. Have you improved your scanning equipment yet? Say yes. The technician gives me blueprints for weapons upgrades, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound on their terminal. This, their search is almost complete. A scan has found something. That you chose this world of all worlds to make your home out of infinite possibilities. I did not think it was possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Now themselves visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. Use your upgraded exocraft radar to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within, and I will use them to forge a new acceleration module for the trials ahead. The Viking claims that this Nal, the namesake of their cult, once visited my planet. I cannot know if this is true. I walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these peoples, at their obsession with their past, at the hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the hub of creation. The technician required nanite clusters to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft boosters waiting for my return. Except, tread carefully, traveler. In all abandoned things, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. You know, I have to say something here. I have no idea who writes these, this dialogue, but unbelievably fascinating. I have to admit, really, really fascinating. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Oh, 
Uh, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the X button. We're going to use our Exocraft radar. We're going to scan for abandoned structures. That way. Over there. How far away is it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy Exocraft. Um... They take carbon. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll pick back up as soon as I get there. Okay, folks? Later. See you in a minute. Or see you in a moment for you. And we're back. Right. So you might remember this. This looks really familiar from one of my previous videos. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to gather the whispering eggs right now. We've got better things to do with our time. So, Okay, so here we are. So we will go ahead and get to this terminal here. Uh, returning user identified, terminal active, unlocking data log, continuation for analysis. There is a world in the great void where all things are made of razors and glass. Pity anything of simple soft flesh that goes there. The glass is thirsty. It is brittle and crystalline and so very beautiful to behold, but it must drink. You will go there, and you will forget my warning. Then it will cut you with an edge so fine that you will feel no pain, and only as your life gushes out to dampen the cracked and broken landscape will this come back to you. Too late. Too late. I discover something coded deep within the long, deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. There's the nanites. Decided to add a little bit of pizzazz to the reading. Hope you don't mind. What do we got? We've got to return to the connect to technician now that we've done what we need to do. So that's pretty much all you do there. You just go ahead and gather up the nanites and get out of there. So I am going to head back. Do you know what we can do? That took five minutes to get here. Let's try something, shall we? You know where I'm going with this. Let's see how fast we can get back with my bug. And go. How long does it say? Yeah, it says 14 minutes. I don't think so. It must be looking at the wrong thing. 12 minutes? I don't think so. Look at the timer as fast as it clocks down. There's no way my exocrap was flying, was going this fast. Nope. Definitely not. Remember it said like 15 minutes? It's already down to 9. Oh, crap. Wrong button. My bad. Wrong way. So that was the only thing we did wrong. Yeah, now it's down to how much? I get the time to show up for more than a blip. Seven minutes, it says. I don't think it took us longer than, what, a minute? Yeah, a minute. Recharge. And go. God, these guys are fast. There is no way. I mean, look how fast this guy's going. Look at that. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's go ahead and land over there. So this literally took like two minutes to get back. That is hilarious. So 
And while we're here, real quick. See? Pretty cool, huh? And then we could just go ahead and tell him to go ahead and dismiss him real quick. Later! And here we are. Have you obtained the nanite clusters? The hour draws late and your exocrep booster upgrade awaits. Give the nanite clusters. The technician takes the nanite clusters. As they hold them, they appear to enter some strange trance. If for a moment, it is done. It's not actually saying it. They did that by accident. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Corporal Key affords me that they have taken communion with their ancestors. They know what they need to do. Traveler, my work is complete. I have overridden the ley lines, charged their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species, the mystery for which Nal died. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Accept. Technicians save their, only, their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Okay. So I got to reach... Oh, you notice I have to reach the monolith in seven minutes. So where is it? It's over there. Eighteen minutes? You know what? We're gonna cheat. I'll get there in 20 seconds, thanks. Why didn't I do it for the other ones? Part of the whole task is to use the Exocraft the whole time. You don't have to. You kind of should, and I should do it this time, but you can see how far this is. But it's nice to know there's a monolith right here. Oh, this isn't a monolith like I think it is. I kept thinking portal for some reason. It's okay. And it looks like we've already been here. Because the all the little icons at the corners here have already been used. So, okay. Here we go. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in this in its terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues in the if I think the word is ephemera. Ephemera. In the ephemera of countless stars. That sounds better, actually. I'll have to look that up. Want that one up I, again? Applause to the to the Hello Games uh, writers. Fabulous. I love uh, expanding knowledge of the English language and learning new words. Fabulous. Love it. Submit. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas, where Herc had heard nothing. I witnessed events that occurred millennia before my awakening. You notice it said, "The voice of Nal." Right. Okay. I witnessed events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. Submit. I like to witness it, maybe. In their rage, the voice of Nal, in their imp uh, impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain, and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said. That my end would be an awakening. That in this dream, nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Submit. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler, so it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Nal. I see the end of time the end of all things, and in that crimson light there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all of this, and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. Leave. I leave, shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. all I can say. Gives you a little bit of chills. Again, great story writing, guys. Very, very nice. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. 
I mean, there's more I'm sure that they can do. I, I'm really looking forward to the possibility that maybe enhancing the Atlas storyline, but I have enjoyed the journey. I've done this several times. I really do enjoy what they've written and what they've done. Hence the reason why it's constantly being played by me. Uh, we want the far one. There we go. Just curious real quick. Anything else in my inventory? No? Okay, let's go. Alright. I envy you, traveler, to see the world words of Nal themselves. Gra. With this discovery, you have vind vindicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon your enemies. Our enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith, initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Nal the Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Herc had been met with only silence, and in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. The technician offers me the Colossus Geobay schematic. Accept it. The technician passes me the schematic. As they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Colossus. I have transmitted Null's testament to my brethren, Traveler. What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Gra. And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us. Now, until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The te technician await, waits anxiously to see my Colossus Exocraft in its full glory. I will watch as they begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft mining laser. Surrounded by schematics and charts, agree to build the Colossus. The Colossus is a fine craft. They say Herc and now rode one together before their end. Uh, not sure what it takes to build one. We're going to go ahead and build it, but I think we get more than just that. So there it is. I need four ion batteries now. Uh, one, two, three, four. I got enough. Good. And we'll build you right here. God, that thing's big. Never actually used it too much. I ride around on it a little bit and then give up, but I like the Minotaur better. Have you constructed the Colossus Geobay? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all those who oppose you? Yeah, sure. Ra, a careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, Traveler. You will subjugate, subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft vehicle laser upgrade to assist with the task. Got it? I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon you shall have the mastery of this planet's signals and the speed with which they reach them. threats. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Gra, this employment has been one of glory. The technician requires more nanite clusters to create an upgrade for my exocraft radar. Something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their pain. They desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. I agree to the request. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hut. Okay. We already have the nanite clusters, so we're going to go ahead and continue on so we can finish this out. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. The technician's hands shake. It is then that I notice the blueprint is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. We give the nanite clusters. The Viking takes them greedily, turning, them to, turning to imbibe them. 
Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien appears to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. Okay, now there's some more batteries. The nanite clusters. Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module upgrade for my nomad exocraft. Once I have constructed its geobay. Accept. Good. Let me know when the na nomad geobay is built. Gra, I cannot wait to witness its glory. I'm gonna grab that because I just got a feeling I might need it. Okay. Uh, Nomad Geo, but the two ion batteries. Let's make this real quick. And we got the Nomad going, which is tiny next to this huge thing. Okay, return to the technician. Our work is almost concluded, but every end is a beginning. I am too weak to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your side against your enemies. Gra, woe betide those who would transgress against us. The technician offers me the final acceleration module upgrade. Take it. It has been a pleasure working with you, Traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you. A lucrative and repeatable venture. Now, the lucrative and repeatable... Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Traveler, I have detected a location of monetary interest. This is it. Go that you may own your control of the exocraft. Track the signal down before it disappears so it may siphon its units. The technicians has hacked a terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I'll be able to transfer units to my account. They spend their days doing this now, tending to the exocraft and drawing data from interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out into the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with this retirement, engaging in fugitive activity for the pleasure of the chase, no longer for the necessity of survival. This is a game we can repeat one last heist after another. One last heist after one last heist. If we agree to go, hurry, Gra. I'm not actually going to go. I might. We'll see. Uh, that is going over here. Okay. So we can go to that, and that's pretty much it. So we can come back and we, re we can repeat that over and over and over again at this point. Uh, where did it go? And, you know, it's honestly, it's the same stinking terminal every time. So I'll show you this real quick, and then we'll call this video an end. I know we went over the hour. But I wanted to really finish out the Exocraft dude uh, and finish that up. So give me just a few more minutes. And of course, I'm going to thank everybody for watching. Uh, this I do a lot of these regular playthrough videos well in advance, so I can release them once a week. Uh, it gives you a little bit of uh, data to watch you know, on occasion, a, lot, a couple of videos to watch here and there on occasion, while I work up other more of the common videos that I usually do. So, boink. And you too can fly like that if you wish one day. And we do this. Uh, we got to clear off this terminal. I don't think I've ever been here before. I'll read it as quickly as I can. The terminal whirs into action, spitting out errata in its confusion, siphoning funds from an intergalactic transaction directly into my account track records. As I go, I think to myself how glad I am that my technician can hack these networks. They claim they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. I hope that my fugitive friend is right. That's not bad. 35,000 units. 34,000. Pretty good. Uh, I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> that was great. There we go, and on our way back. So that is it. That is the end of the Exocraft guy. So the only thing left now is to finish out the main base building. Um, 
I'll probably do a recording for that. I honestly don't think it's much longer that we will be going with this. There we go. All right, there we go. And you notice it's done. So if we go in here, we have to install the power resonator. I need two more ion batteries. Let's go ahead and just get into the there and we can complete this out because I'm kind of excited to do this. And let's go ahead and do this one too. And there we go. I think that goes here or does that go over here? That goes over here. Okay. And there we go. So if we check out our objectives, it should be just about finished. I'm going to wait for it to clear out. It should be clear now. And there we go. We no longer have that secondary mission. We have one page of missions. So take a close look and you'll notice that there is no other missions for the base actually that was the last mission for the base we have base computer archives we could do planet in distress we could do the industrial surveying but that's just to in install the survey device in my uh, unit here combat scope I have to get the survey device I suppose for my unit so I'll do that later and we'll get to that as well um, Freighter Command, we can assemble fleets, we can finish out the base computer archives and get our planet in distress, so we're going to get our new settlement. So we're going to see what we can do about getting to settlement, I think, in the next video, and we'll complete out a couple of these as we go. So that's where we, uh, that's where we want to go with this, so hopefully we'll complete out these missions rather quickly. Uh, I think we need to pose for a picture, don't you? How about, I got an idea. Let's jump on board. And what do you think? Do a little pull back on this. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of a pullback on it so we could show this is what we've been doing. Excellent. All right, so there's our tag for it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm Alon Paul. Again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you like the content. Uh, sorry for the raspy voice today. i uh, been recording for like four hours, five hours straight right now, and <laughs> it gets a little bit rough at the end there, especially when you've been working a secular job all day and uh, a lot of people to talk to there as well. So but thank you very much again, folks. We will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.